Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS Learning Forum. And uh, today's video is on STL. And this is where you can go to get the uh, file that's attached to one of the comments below. And uh, it's intended to be a blood vessel uh, an aneurysm. So we need uh, to create a hollow uh, artery. So we're going to go and do file open and set the preferences to STL as the type and set the dimensions to millimeters for the units. And this file has um, it's a solid uh, body. Normally a CT scan would have both the inner and outer walls of an artery, but this one does not. So we're going to artificially make the inner wall by a thickness setting. First step is always to look for um, multiple objects in this. And there's a tiny object in the center that we want to delete. So that's gone now. And if we check the facets, uh, everything's good. What we want to do though is we want to delete the faces and thicken it up but first we're going to pop over to design to set up a few planes that will come in handy later just a plane uh, sort of on this face here and then another plane uh, on this face here because we'll use those later on there's a plane so we'll just ignore those for a while and come back to them later. What we're going to do is uh, delete the face. So back to the facet tab. And with the select tool, we're going to just double click on one of those faces and then use the slider bar to pick them all and then hit the delete key. So now we're looking inside. And if we repeat that on the other two objects, we'll uh, be ready to thicken. So now we have uh, an open instead of a closed body, which is fine. What we're going to do is uh, set the thicken parameters up. So click on the thicken, and they are pre set up for us. And uh, it's thickening to the outside, so we just pick the body, and there is our thicker body. Now, what we want is to convert this to um, using the auto skin tool, but it will be helpful to smooth over some of the roughness that has appeared here. And the tool for that, shrink wrap, is quite helpful, and we can set um, a gap size of uh, maybe 0.2, uh, which is less than the wall thickness that we just requested. And um, let that uh, compute. And that will uh, hopefully soften these edges a little bit, which will help the next operation. And that did help that a little. So we'll uh, take that and we'll go over now to the tools menu where we'll try to auto skin this body. And this is computationally expensive, so I'll uh, pause the video while it finishes uh, computing that. Okay, that wasn't even uh, 30 extra seconds, so it successfully generated 208 patches. It's still uh, computing, and we'll see it in a minute. Okay, there we have the piece of solid geometry that has a, uh, a wall thickness. But uh, the useful thing here is to um, have flat faces to make it very easy to define inlets and outlets. And that's why we saved these planes a little while ago. And so now we're going to uh, pull one of those planes up and use the move tool which will be back on this uh, design tab. Move tool, pick that, pick this direction, and just come down a little to cut off the rounded tip of that artery. 
and use the split body, split that with that. And again, computationally expensive operation. And uh, get rid of that. So now we have a nice flat face. And if we do that same operation over here, we'll be uh, good to go. So we're going to go back to the move tool, pick this, come down a little below all that uh, trouble at the tip. Could could actually tilt this a little bit maybe because it's uh, it's worse on one in one direction than another. And so we could uh, get that maybe come up just a little and let us split body split that body on that plane and uh, come back in a minute and that's finished so we'll get rid of these pieces got a nice flat and that is a piece of geometry that we can take into meshing so thanks for watching bye